What's going on, y'all? <clears throat> it's the nappy one back again. <laughs> um, this one's related to boxing in that um, only because it's related to Manny Pacquiao. Now, admittedly, I am one of the people who was initially shocked and angry uh, by the original report of Manny Pacquiao's anti-gay marriage statements. Uh, that being the one where they quoted, where he qu was quoted, ugh, where he quoted Leviticus. But that's finding out that he didn't quote Leviticus does not change my mind about his statements at all. I mean, you can't be pro-civil liberty and then exclude a minority. <laughs> uh, it doesn't make any fucking sense. Um, and this is sort of a response to Calix, but I was planning on doing a vid about Pacquiao and statements anyway. When you're at that level where so many people know you and you make a statement, um, it's especially a statement about a political statement mixed with a religious statement about a country that's that he doesn't even live in. Now, everybody's allowed to have an opinion, including people outside the U.S. are allowed to have whatever opinion about the U.S. that they want to have. But if he's going to involve himself in the conversation by saying he's critical of anything that goes against the word of God, then I'm going to have to be critical of him in return because as a liberal myself, I cannot support those kind of views, whether it's in politics or friendships. I can't be friends with people who think along those lines. Like I said, you can't be pro-civil liberty and then exclude a minority because gay people are a minority. So if you're excluding them, even if it's for marriage, and, and being in the military, they were only recently allowed to be openly in the military. Don't Ask, Don't Tell is is fairly recently been repealed. Not, not fucking repealed 50 years ago. This isn't old news. The shit just happened a little while ago. So we can't act like it was always that way. And another thing, if they can serve in the military and you're touting that as a reason, you know, why it's not as big of a deal as people make it out to be, this gay uh, gay right to marry issue, then if they are serving in the military like you say, right, they, they're gays in the military, if they're serving in our army and putting their lives on the line, why the fuck wouldn't you allow them to marry? <laughs> There's no real real reason not to allow it except for bigotry, ignorance, and the Bible. <laughs> so, no, I, I can't support those kinds of views. And I think it's very narrow-minded, and I don't care if he is from the Philippines. Um, making a statement that's related to Obama's pro-gay marriage statements, then I have to, in return judge him on those statements and right now I'm pissed off at Pacquiao I think if he had something to say like that uh, should have just kept it to himself now he didn't quote Leviticus so it's not as bad right well in my mind it's it the quoting Leviticus is neither here nor there that just inflamed the story and and like I said I am kind of ashamed to have got caught up in that but at the same time it doesn't change his anti-gay gay marriage stance, does it? No, it doesn't. So, <laughs> and I know I just heard, I don't know if it's true, but just heard that Floyd said he was pro-gay marriage. Well, if he is, good for him, but it sounds like a PR stunt to me, so I can't give him much credit <laughs> for saying that now when he could have weighed in on the issue a long time ago if he had so wanted to. Uh, but Pacquiao... I can't, I was never a big fan of him in the first place, and a lot of you guys know that. <clears throat> I haven't been buying fights either, and a lot of you guys already know that too, so this boycotting this next fight shit's kind of, doesn't make a difference, you know, for me, but 
as far as whether or not I'm willing to stick up for him anymore, no. <laughs> Can't stick up for a narrow-minded bigot. And that's how I view him. I'm sorry if, if you don't like that I feel, feel that way about him, but being anti-gay is being anti-a minority, whether it's whether you want to say the the gay rights isn't isn't as extreme as what uh, black people went through for their civil rights, um, I, I'll agree. But just because it isn't as bad doesn't mean we ignore it completely, guys. So I guess it's kind of jumbled like usual. But recap: Manny Pacquiao is anti-gay marriage, therefore I am anti Manny Pacquiao because as a pro civil liberties person, I have to. I have to want civil liberties for all, for everybody equally, no matter their uh, their sexual orientation or race or creed or you know anything. So, you know, <laughs> as a liberal uh, civil liberties guy, that's a big issue for me personally. So, I can't support him anymore. Uh, you won't catch me sticking up for him, no matter what. He, and you know, <laughs> not that it matters, really, but, all right, I'm going to stop stuttering through this fucking video now, um, like I said, okay, that's the recap, I'm not going to support the dude.